This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. I'm going to show you a nifty way to subtract two numbers. This is kind of a little trick and to explain why it works takes the fun out of it, but for you math majors you could really think about this. So here's how it works. Let's say we have 831 minus 267. All right, now there's so many different ways to subtract two numbers. This is just kind of a kind of cool way I came across. All right, so let's say you're going to do this subtraction problem. Here's the trick. After, under the, bar, uh, the subtraction bar here, See this number 267? You're going to put under each digit the number that makes it add up to 9. Okay, so what plus 2 is 9? That would be 7. 6 plus 3 is 9, and 7 plus 2 is 9. So we've got 732. That's not the answer. This is just how you do the problem. So you see that these each two digits adds up to 9. Now you take the top number here, what you're subtracting from, the 831, and you're going to add that to it. So remember how I said this is a nifty way to subtract if you like adding? So notice I'm doing an addition problem. Alright, you could use any addition method you want. So I'm going to go left to right, 1563. Okay, we're almost done. Check this out. You're going to take off that one. There's always going to be a one in the front, by the way. You're going to cross it out and add it. So it's like you're taking it away here and you're going to add it at the end. And that, for your answer, is going to give you 564, which, by the way, is the answer to the problem. Wild, huh? So let's see. This is the answer. It's just kind of a fun, interesting thing that happens to always work. And it makes sense if you think about um, algebraically what's going on, but I'm going to, instead of uh, showing that, I'm just going to show you how we could do another problem. So let's take a new problem. How about one with four digits? Like 6038 minus 4165. Okay, you don't have to use different colors here, um, but I will just for fun so we can see. All right, how do we begin? We're going to figure out what the other number that makes this add up to 9. So 4 plus 5, 1 and 8 add up to 9, 6 and 3. 5 and 4, right? So each pair, right, in this column have to add up to 9. Then what do we do? We take this number and we add it. So we add the 6038. Like I said, this is for people who would prefer to add instead of subtract. Notice I'm not doing any subtraction in this problem. Now you could use any method you want to add, but we will get here 11, 8, 72. I'll leave that to you, how you decide to add, right? And then, what do we do? You're always going to have a 1 at the in the front. You're going to take off the 1, add it to the end, and that gives you 1873. Hey, I think I'll put that in the blue color here. So that was the original problem, right? There it is. And that, my friends, is the answer. So 6,038 minus 4,165 is 1,873. You can always check these, right, by adding 1873 plus 465. Make sure you really do get 6,038. Same thing for this other one. You could add 564 plus 267, and you should get 831. Hey, how about one more just for fun? How about we do um, 6... Zero, one, zero. So, and let's subtract one, three, eight, nine. And hey, why don't you put the video on pause and see if you can do it by yourself? Try this on your own. Okay, did you try it on your own? Are you back? All right, let's do it. So I'm going to say, all right, what pairs of numbers add up to nine? So that's eight, six, one, and zero. Right. We add that to the top number, which is a 6010. That gives 14620. Take off the first one, add it to the end, and our answer is 4621.
And that is our answer. Okay, enjoy. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.